Hi everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for October 12th, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary and this is Lilu, the Poodle Terrier Mix, who's my assistant tonight. Enjoy tonight's video and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions or points for discussion after you've watched it. Last week in the Training Tuesday video, you saw our Children's Python Steuben demonstrate how target training can be used to communicate mealtime. Classical conditioning, a very basic form of associative learning, has taught Steuben that the target signals food will follow, and he automatically reacts by getting into what snake keepers commonly call food mode. This week, our inland carpet python, Merlin, is going to demonstrate an advanced type of associative learning called operant conditioning or instrumental learning. For Merlin, seeing the target does not cause him to automatically get into food mode. Rather, it communicates to him that there is an opportunity to earn reinforcement contingent upon him performing a specific behavior or a specific behavior chain. In other words, he has learned through prior experience that following the target and then stopping and touching the target when its orientation has changed from vertical to flat is what he can do to earn a reward, in this case, food. This type of training encourages the snake to think and problem solve. Instead of just reacting to the sight of the target with an automatic food response, Merlin is calculating what he must do to reach the target and subsequently get his food. He has learned from prior sessions to carefully work out a route to the target and then to calmly touch it without striking or getting excited, and that in the past, this behavior has resulted in food being made available to him. It's the ABCs of training I've mentioned in other videos. The antecedent, or the A, is the presentation of the target. The behavior, or the B, is Merlin following it into position and then pausing. And the consequence, or the C, is food. During this session, Merlin had to work out how to get from where he was, out of his enclosure, across an open space, and then to the table with the perch on it. He does some approach and retreat while thinking about it and problem solving the best way to accomplish his task. I've come to realize that snakes use approach and retreat while assessing a situation and evaluating the most efficient way to accomplish a task. Hopefully you noticed that once the session started and Merlin was engaged with the activity, that I tried to just position the target near the perch and hold it as still as possible. I did have to move it a few times because my arm was getting tired and I had to reposition for myself. But until Merlin was moved over and onto the perch, my job is just to hold the target in place until he reaches it. And then we move on to the next step in the behavior chain. Once he is on the station, he then follows the target as I move it until his body is in the position that I need him to be in so that he is completely on the stand, his whole body fits on it, and his whole body is out of the enclosure. Once he's in position, I mark that behavior by flattening the target. He stops his forward movement and he touches it, which he has previously learned is followed by him receiving reinforcement, which in this case is food. So instead of reacting with immediate excitement in a food response, he's delaying his gratification, he's demonstrating impulse control, and he's thinking through how to accomplish a task. This type of behavior uses a different part of the brain than the part activated when a snake is having an automatic response to a stimulus. Sudden emotional responses engage the amygdala, which is the part of the brain also heavily involved in fear, anxiety, and fear-enhanced memory. The hippocampus is the part of Merlin's brain that is likely highly active during this training session. Because it's the hippocampus that functions to modulate emotion, and it enables spatial, episodic, and contextual memory. 
I'm very happy with Merlin's progress and responsiveness to training, as I would much rather work with an animal able to engage in impulse control, appraisal, and problem solving than one solely being driven by emotional responses. <laughs>